Renato picked himself off the deck. They were alive. We have to get to my private ship, she said. Do you trust me? I guess I must, he said. You go on ahead. Clear the path, she said. I can't kill my own soldiers. He wanted to say that he didn't trust her, that he had no idea what he was getting into. But he had no choice, did he? He was following his heart. That's what it means to be a hero. You had to follow your heart. You know, with the, with the hints of narrated storytelling and binary decisions and relatively light, uh, relatively light RPG mechanics and top-down action, this kind of feels like everything that Moon Hunters was trying to accomplish, but kind of failing. I don't think I can do anything yet, can I? No, not even close. Well, we're close to fire. But I need one more fire essence, three more ore. Yeah, well, we're getting there across the board. Void, apparently, is very hard to get. And do I have a single gem yet? A, do not. Nope. The yeah, Void Hunters tried to do top-down action and, uh... RPG storytelling and decisions and so on, but unfortunately, kind of fell apart really quickly and felt uncar- it felt like it didn't have a character to it and felt like your decisions would just get forgotten by the game itself. Even though the a playthrough of that was already... it's probably about the same length that this has been so far. And this game already is respecting my decisions better. Lo and behold, by making entirely different levels for each decision as far as I can tell. I won't know for sure until I play other decisions. There's my void door. Gotta get those extra swords. It'll be interesting being able to go through those kinds of directions. How detailed are these levels, by the way, if there's that many kind of branching paths? He could learn new skills. If only he'd take the time to figure out which. Double movement speed. Ooh. The next ones could give you extra increases to maximum stamina. And increase your maximum stamina even further. Increase your maximum health, maximum health, increase the maximum sword energy, and further increase your maximum sword energy. That's interesting. So the exact description of each action changes time to time. I'm really curious. I want to see the slowdown time effect. I just want to see it in action. <laughs> That's my selfish motivation to go straight to that. We don't have any, we have 95 experience left to go before I get the next one. I just want to see the game dramatically pause every time I do a, a counter. He once met a pirate captain. He used hooks to get around his ship. What was his name again? Uh, Captain Parrot. Yes, he was named after his parrot, and, and no other characteristic about him. Hi, everyone. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm so happy with that. <laughs> I'm immediately happy with that. There's a freaking shockwave around it, and and it doesn't actually. It only pauses the action if you actually let it pause the action. See, it pauses like right, right now. But I can also just keep playing and not react to it that way. Oh! Uh, let's just go ahead and just draw that towards the big old cloud of enemies. Wait, where'd, where'd, this, where'd the fire guy go? There he is. Hmm. Where did that go? You're fired. Oh. Nope. Excuse me. There we go. Those are, that's a fun enemy to fight because you have to chase him for a bit. <laughs> the slow-mo is great. Execute. Oh. <laughs> I'm so happy with that. Oh. I believe they are terminated. Can I get back to the level up like location? That was actually back over here a little bit. I don't remember if we did a, a jump or not, but I would like to spend the point if I can. Yes. All right. Double combo points and bonus damage versus counterattacking. I mean, I obviously I always wanted to do that. I obviously like to counterattack a lot, so we might as well just make that do damage and speed things up a little bit, huh? They're all very promising things. It's always a good sign when the upgrades are all things I want. As opposed to a bunch of things like, eh, screw all those things. Let's get these ones! I'm definitely not dis disregarding any of the upgrades out of hand. I mean, some extra health would also be nice, obviously. But there's new toys! Who wants stats when you get new toys? Hello. Sometimes, 
We're not a really hated inanimate objects. Okay, I, I love you for that line. <laughs> but also, uh, maybe I'm part of the box lobby, keeping a lot of people employed. Can I jump up? Oh, there we go. I have to wait for it to stop moving. Sort of answers an earlier thought I was wondering about, which is whether or not you can you can uh, hop off these, those things while they're moving. Because that very first one we were ever on went over an entire town that had chests and stuff inside it. And I might have been able to backtrack, but I went after a I went through a point of no return, and that happened. But I definitely it does appear that I couldn't have jumped off because I just tried to jump off there a bit. But I actually tried to use the hook, which seemed like I'd be able to, but I could not. Whoa! Why are these lighting up? Is this a trap? I'm wondering if I should be concerned that the floor is lighting on fire. Look at the fleet down there. All right, I lit up two of them. Does lighting these things up do something? Or is it just kind of cool looking? Oh! I will not bear your standard. Uh, can, okay, maybe you can stay, because I can't seem to knock it over. Oh, here we go. Greetings, everyone. Oh! Sneaky, sneaky, I didn't see you at first. Oh, you got me. Renato hoped the other end of this portal wasn't suspended over the abyss. Ooh, double. There's some luck, huh? Friend? Friend? Hit out. <laughs> Note to self, when you beta taunt, uh, beta counter, actually execute on said counter. Or you're gonna look very silly in front of a lot of people. Which I do a lot, it's fine. I do not have a void. Alright, here we go. So, we're, so apparently we're just assuming our friend is dead. I wonder if this is going to be a heroic reappearance of him. Like, oh my god, he made it after all. Or if he's just super dead. Because if he's dead, it's kind of my fault, isn't it? He kind of escaped from jail already on his own. So I really roped him in on this. Oh. Right, I'm going to need some hit points back. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, wait. That was, I, was, I was the thank you and the you're welcome in that situation. That doesn't really work that way. Can I light the floor on fire? Was it those things? Nope. Once I've do now that I've done it once, I just want to do it again. Aha, that standard fell. Others can as well. Die. No? Die. Alright, maybe not. You live this day. But only because I allow it. The platform used a hybrid propulsion system fueled by anti-gravity and wishful thinking. Look at these little guys, they're cool. Yeah. We've got company! Oh! Oh, he didn't even teleport that time. He's rather apathetic to the whole thing. That was a triple counter, by the way. That's right. Tell your kids. Is it new hero in town. Until I screw up in a second. Don't mind me. It's fine. Yeah! It might not ready to take on new powers. Might not even be entirely valid to use the approach I do, but I just like juggling between enemies because it keeps stunning various ones that no one sneaks up on me half the time. It's been very effective in Assassin's Creed and Batman, and I'm just applying it here by default. Oh! Hi. Nice to meet you too. Alright, the teleport doesn't go very far on this thing. Weird weird, because it goes far here. Paused to catch their breath. It was strange to be so close to her. What are you thinking? He asked. I'm trying very hard not to think. Me too, he said. Up ahead, he could see the thin silver of Zenobia's personal ship. It looked fast. They would leave all this behind. I think my one letdown so far is probably the fact that she doesn't follow me around as an AI character and actually fight things alongside me. So that'd be nice. Although I guess she's probably staying out. She did say they're they're saying out. They're saying uh, the narrator said that she's staying outside of the line, outside of the crows. So I guess that is happening. But if she just moved a little bit, that'd be nice. Like if she sort of walked, followed around while she while we were outside of combat, but then stayed out of sight during combat. So far, she's just teleporting and showing up during cutscenes. Can I warp over there? Oh yeah. Bye. This is my home now, apparently. This seems oddly dangerous, but satisfying. Um, there's a crowd. 
Don't mind me, I'm just not really excited to see you here. Oh, don't worry, I'm sure you're I'm sure you're great if we had a nice conversation. Ow! Your parents miss you. They wish you'd come home. Oops. I guess that's not happening. Oop. Chop, chop, chop. Wow, I didn't even see him on camera. I just knew he was there. <laughs> that badass complete whip around, like, slice behind you in a direction you can't even see and just completely cut the opponent in half. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm really into this game. It's just a pleasurable experience. I like this. Oh, hi. 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 You're not getting away from me. Ow. I know your zip code. Oh. Nope, I see you coming. No more of that, please. There we go. Hi. Nope. Can I get some hit points back? There we go. Thank you. Thank you very much. There's a lot of particle effects and little dashes and flourishes and going, stuff going on. Who made this game? I, I need to investigate the backstory of this specific company. Because they're... I'm starting to get... Can, feel, get like... He was sort of yanking his own chain, wasn't he? Just noticing all the little technical things that are working in this game all at once and how well it's running. And the inspiration behind it makes me think like, this, this isn't just some indie company that came out of nowhere, right? This is like some known people that got together for a company. I don't know if the company's made a game before, but I'm wondering if the uh, how many main, how many games the people involved may have made. I mean, Bastion was the uh, first game by that company, and it was amazingly polished and fully realized as their like dream game or whatever. But I doubt that they were new to the industry. <laughs> Shield grunts will block your attacks. Grab and throw another grunt into them, and the shield will be knocked away. I forgot we could grab people. I'm gonna just go ahead and admit that. It's okay. I just know. I know just the trick. Oh, you know it's hard to counter you if you don't actually attack me. Tip. Oh. E either I messed up the timing there, or I could not counter him. I tried to counter the shield grunt. I thought I, I thought you'd be able to do at least that. Aha! Well, that's fantastic. It, it actually trips them up. Yeah. Oh! Careful. Oh, he's out of range. My bad. The dashing is really effective. You really cover some ground. Oh, I keep missing the shield grunt, though. There we go. Ow. Hit points, please. Gonna need some of those back now. There we go. Combat's getting more dynamic over time. As they reached her ship, Renato suddenly felt a sharp pain in his stomach. He was surprised to see a crossbow bolt sticking out of it. I was going to lead the Empire to a secret base, said Lapino. But no, you had to screw up my plan because you still got a thing for her. Renato stared at Zenobia. The kiss, was it real? said, with a look of indescribable sorrow. She gestured and said an arcane word, and Lapido went flying into the abyss, screaming, I'm telling your father! Then she knelt down to cradle his head, and her paws felt very soft and warm. Okay, that was weird. He could have sworn he'd just died. Instead, he was on the Farfarer, sailing away from Ubar. And it was still burning. He'd fled burning Ubar years ago, hadn't he? And now he was back there. Had all those years fighting the Empire been nothing but a vision into the future? A useful vision, if it was true. He'd learned something. Lapino was a traitor. Renato had suspected there was something wrong with the mad rabbit, but now he knew there was malice behind his goofiness. The presentation here just got very interesting. So, we did the intro mission, we stole this book, 
And then it looks like that book gave us a vision of everything we just saw from the future. And now we're back to when we first ran away with the book shortly after that child died. Like that's, that's what would happen here is we've gone back. We've completed story number five, Don't Think Twice. And that was an interesting little story there. We thought that we were going in this crazy scheme, but then having a change of heart at the last minute. But really, we were falling into somebody else's scheme, but she had a change of heart at the last minute. It very much it very much appears that she and... and uh, I almost said Renato, but that's my character. She and Lepido? Was that his name? He, she and the spy were specifically conspiring to use me to bring her to the uh, re rebel base and to expose it to the Empire. So, yeah. But apparently two people had changes of heart. What kind of hero are you? A hero who always follows his heart. Don't think twice. That's really well put together. Lepido is a traitor. New truth revealed. Tier 2 skills unlocked. New location, the Desert Temple. Whoa! This is some craziness. So you can view the story I just did, and we're supposed to gain four core truths. First is that Lupido... Lupino, not, not, not Lupido. Lupino is a traitor. But what do we need to, else do we need to learn? There's two things here we've never even seen before. They both might be the sword relic, I'm not sure. And this one right here is our friend, the lady. Okay. So where do we go from here? There's 25 endings to explore. Four truths that each have their own little totem that explain things here and there. What happens if I say view story, by the way? There we go. So there's four decisions. This interface seems to make it look like it's always going to be boiled down to four decisions and playthroughs that probably take about an hour each. Uh, rescue Lupino. Find Zenobia. Accept Lupino's plan. And do not take Zaboni into the interrogations. Alright. Game, you have caught my interest. I think I'm going to go ahead and take a break here, guys. Thanks for watching like always. And we're going to be exploring more stories from here on out. Not entirely sure if I'm up for 25 stories. Is that 25 or 20? Looks like 24. 24, yeah. But I'm definitely going to be playing a lot more of them. Hope you guys are along for the ride. Be sure to subscribe if you've gotten this far and you aren't already one and you'll see more of these videos coming up. And, uh, yeah, I'm in for the long haul. See you guys next time. He'd made bad choices. But now... When the real battle came, he wouldn't make those choices. He wouldn't make the same mistake twice. The book's pages began to flip backwards, towards the beginning. And he realized that his adventure was just beginning. The clouds parted over the Isles of Boreas. It was time to choose. The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens were scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game-changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. Or so a scholar in the mountains had told him. Surely the weapon that banished the Lost Gods could defeat the Emperor. Also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. The Emperor had brought the Sky Ripper pieces up out of ancient burial by his obscene rituals. Could this be where the Iblis Stone was hidden? Someone better get it before he does, thought Renardo. And also, his old friend Lapino needed rescuing. Of course. Renato had a pretty strong suspicion that Lapino had betrayed the rebellion. But could Renato really leave an old friend to the Ravens?